Uh, we are having one more example in binomial expansion. And in this case, I call it a super example because there is some uniqueness in this uh, function. We have two minus, which is also unique, and then a fraction. I want to show you how you multiply, sorry, you expand numbers with the minuses and of course with a fraction. Now, in this one, we are told, write the expansion of this up to the fourth term, again, you underline the fourth term, has use it to estimate uh, or uh, use the expansion to find the value of this, correct again to three decimal places. Those are the key points. Now, we start by expanding this function in the ascending powers of uh, x. So 2 begins from power 5. So 2 raised to power 5, then 1 over 5x power 0. 1 over 5x power 0. Then minus, because it is a subtraction. We get 2 raised to power 4. 2 raised to power 4. Then 1 over 5x goes to, uh, I should have started with 0 here. From 0, it goes to 1. Then from a minus, we go to a plus. 2 raised to power 3, descending powers of 2 and ascending powers of the second factor. 1 over 5x raised to power 2. This is 0, 1, 2, plus. So this is the first uh, factor. Second term, third term, we go to the last term. This is a plus, so we alternate a minus. So minus, plus, minus, the other one will be a plus, like that. So 2 descends all the way to 2, and then 1 over 5x ascends to 3, plus, blah, 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 those dots. Now in this case, this one cancels because any number raised to 0 is 1. 2 power 5 is 32, minus 2 power 4 is 16, multiplied by this one power 1, so it will be 16 over 5 x. Then plus 2 power 3 is 8, 8 x squared over 5 power 3. 5 power 3 is 125. This is 5 squared, not power 3. This is 5 squared, which is 25. Minus 2 power 2 is 4. And then, of course, multiply by x power 3. x power 3 over 5 raised to power 3. Now that one is 125. 5 raised to power 3 is 1. 25. At this point, you have expanded, but you need to bring in the concept of coefficients. And of course, multiply the coefficients of powers of 5. We said powers of 5, the coefficients are 1, that is 5, 10, another 10, 5, and 1. But these two are not important because we are only arriving at the first, second, third, and the fourth term. So, that 2 times 1 is 32. 16 over 5 times 5 is minus 16x. Then 8 over 25 times 10 is like 80 over 25, which is 16 over 5 plus 16 over 5. And then there is x squared. Then plus, sorry, minus, minus 4 over 125 times 10. Use your calculator well, you will get uh, 8 over 25. 8 over 25 x cubic. At this point, you qualify for 2 marks. So, 2 more marks. We look for the value of x. Look for the value of x by equating. Look for the value of x by equating. 2 minus 1 over 5 x raised to power 5 is equals to 1.96 uh, 1.96 raised to power 5 cancel the powers so you have 2 we can take 2 the other side to the other side negative 1 over 5 x is equals to 1.96 minus 2 negative 1 over 5 x is equals to uh, negative 
0.04. Negative 0.04. So what happens here? You get you multiply by negative 5 on both sides by negative 5. So your x is equal to 0 0.2. Once you get the value of x, you have another one back. So now the other remaining part is you take this x value here and then substitute it in the binomial expansion. This is what you get. Uh, you have 32, you use your calculator well. 32 minus 16 into bracket 0 0.2, 0 0.2, then plus 16 over 5 times 0 0.2 square, then minus 8 over 25, 8 over 25 times 0 0.2 raised to power 3. I shall repeat, you are supposed to use your calculator, then solve these values or entities separately so that you get the accurate values and then put them together considering these signs here the negative the plus the minus uh, you consider them very very well if you do that you will get your value the whole of it as 28.92544 at this point but the question asks you correct to three decimal places so you shall have you count the number of decimal places, one, two, three. So you look at the fourth one, and it is less than five. So if it is three decimal places, your answer is going to be 28.925. This is your correct answer, and according to the requirement of the question. So what I'll remind you is, make sure you are more vigilant when you are doing the permutations or the calculations around this area. To confirm whether you've gotten that correct, you just need to key in 1.96 power 5 and see whether you get a value close to this. That one will confirm. So 1.96, 1.96 raised to power 5. This is what I get. 28.925. And there is 4, 6, what, what? This one is equivalent to this one. This shows you were able to do the rest of the processes correctly. Uh, for this lesson, the next lesson, I wish you all the best and thank you very much for following me.